the day, Ian back here with the Entertainment Examiner. Hey, I'm super excited. I am a huge Planet of the Apes fan. Full disclaimer, I grew up on the Planet of the Apes movies. I did. From when I was like, I don't know, 13 or something, I, um, I got the first three for Christmas on videotape. And then sub subsequently got the other two of the original series. And now we're into the three... Um, Rise of Dawn of and now War for the Planet of the Apes. Um, this is one of the best trilogies to come along in a long time. These Apes movies are really well done and director Matt Reeves knows exactly what he's doing. In this third film, I don't know if it's the final film, but if it is, great. Um, we see the results of what happened at the end of Dawn where a rogue ape goes in and attacks the uh, human army, and now it's really humans versus apes at this point. There's an absolutely fantastic opening sequence um, with the humans versus the apes, and some of the rogue apes who, uh, who have abandoned their leader, Caesar, again, you're wonderfully played in motion capture form by Andy Serkis, um, are, are, are helping a military group headed by the Colonel, uh, played by Woody Harrelson. Uh, the uh, the uh, army comes in, in one night uh, to where the apes are and end up killing some of them and Caesar takes matters in, into his own hands when, when he's been really just trying to make peace with the humans but they won't have it because of the progression of the virus. Um, this movie is excellent. I can't begin to tell you how great that all three of these apes movies are and the fact that, that they get better and better um, and, and makes them s s such a whole trilogy. I mean, we've, we've seen great trilogies like the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I even put the new Star Trek movies in, Star Trek, Star Trek in the Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond as another great trilogy right now, but these Apes movies are on kind of their own plane. Um, Andy Serkis should really start getting awards recognition for what he does. We see, we, um, saw him as Gollum, in the Lord of the Rings films so well, and now as Caesar, he almost creates a whole character out of this motion capture thing that he does against a green screen, and he's so good at it, and um, there are, are a lot of calls for him to be getting Best Actor consideration this year. Whether that'll happen, I don't know. The Academy doesn't seem to usually want to um, try anything new, or at least not for a longer period of time, um, and I'm also against making like a separate category for him. I, I put him in the same category as you would the other acting candidates. Um, but back to the movie, uh, Woody Harrelson, as the colonel, shows us again why he's such a great actor and how much he's really evolved since Cheers and uh, People vs. Larry Flint, and a great movie called The Messenger, which he was also nominated for an Oscar for it if you never saw that. Um, he's a hardened guy and he's determined to wipe out these apes, and there, there's a really great scene between him and Caesar near the middle of the film. Also back is the friendly uh, orangutan named Maurice. His character is named after Maurice Evans, who played the uh, orangutan Dr. Zayas in the original films. And also we get um, a new character called Bad Ape, played by Steve Zahn, who is kind of a comic relief, but not so much. Um, you don't need a comic relief in this film, and he, he's humorous, but the film is very much a dark drama. And it sets up these huge action sequences at the end. And they are so cool with the firefights and, and the avalanche. This movie just, for me, hit on everything. Um, I think that, that these movies have gotten better and better, and I think War is just kind of the, the top of that trilogy which is really interesting because a lot of trilogies, you know, or even film series, you know, if, you, if, if a series goes on forever, I think the best of the original Planet of, of the Apes films is the original with Charlton Heston. I also really liked Escape from the Planet of the Apes, where they go back to the 1970s uh, with, of course, the great Rodney McDowell and Kim Hunter. Um, so, if you're an Apes fan like I am, if, if you grew up with the Apes movies, this, this is a great box set to get. It just came out recently. It has the um, documentary as well that Roddy McDowell hosted. And, of course, get the Apes, new Apes films that are out now. And go see War for the Planet of the Apes. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give this one four stars, an A rating. I'm a big fan of this series. And as a fan, I think I'm probably more critical of 
the films than other people who don't like the films. So I enjoyed this movie immensely. The characters, the actors, the action scenes, the dialogue, everything just clicked for me. And um, also we get a fine performance by a, a young actress who plays the character of Nova, who, who is the girl that Charlton Heston meets at the beginning of the original film, so that also ties that together. But there's some neat calls to, to the original series as well, so go see War for the Planet of the Apes in theaters now. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.